Tonight is the official hiring and reception of our new football coach, Coach Brian Gleasing. Thank you for taking some time to talk with me and our SLN Lions Nation. We know you are a very busy man and one of Salem's most popular people now. <laughs> First, for everyone out in Lion Nation that may not know you, give us a 30,000 feet synopsis of who you are, your years coaching, and how you made your way to Salem. Well, <clears throat> this will be my 20, I just finished my 21st year as a head coach, so I think next year will be my 22nd, if I'm doing my math right. Um, I, I've been all over. Um, I, I was originally at LaVille High School in South Bend as, a, as the head coach. You know, I wrote about 20 years ago. Then I moved to Clarksville, and that's where I got familiar with Salem because Clarksville was in that conference. And then I moved to Floyd Central for 11 years. And then I was at uh, Jeffersonville, Paoli, and Shelbyville. And now I'm back to Southern Indiana at Salem High School. And I'm excited about uh, the opportunity to coach football here and teach and educate. And with the big crowd we had here tonight, it just shows the passion that people have for football. We've seen that you've coached a lot of at a lot of other schools. So, what drives you to take on programs that not be at, that may not be at the top of the mountain and build them up and make them? Well, that's that's again? kind of one of the things that I've kind of my niche mm -hmm. is the taking a program that's been down and getting them back to where they where they need to be. Um, and Salem fits that fits that perfectly. They've struggled, you know, the last year or so, and now it's time to, you know, maybe to instill some new enthusiasm and some blood, new new emotion into it, passion. And uh, I think one of the things that, that I'll bring is that energy. And uh, I'm excited about uh, what we have to offer, and I'm excited about the future of Salem football. What made you go into coaching? Well, I've always was an athlete, and some of my greatest mentors uh, were coaches, my, uh, and I wanted to be just like them. My dad was a coach, and I wanted to be just like him, and uh, you know, not just as a coach, but as an educator. And uh, so I just kind of followed in their footsteps, and a lot of my family's in education as teachers, so um, it's kind of in our blood a little bit. What are some of your favorite memories as being a coach? Probably, uh, we had talked about earlier in, in the meeting that my first year coaching, and we went 0 and 10, and then my second year at that same at LaVille High School, we went 9 and 4 and won the sectional, and that was just an amazing turnaround, and uh, that was a big deal. We won two sectionals there at LaVille, winning a conference championship at, at Clarksville was huge back in 2006 and then winning a con winning a sectional at Floyd Central as well. So speaking of coaching, let's get into some more of the specifics. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your style of coaching? I'm probably old school, but with some new with some of the new fangled ideas, you know, that that are out there um, utilizing uh, a lot of I'm a, I'm a great I think I'm a good communicator and communicating with our not only our players but our parents. I think that's one key. Uh, to success is making sure, being transparent, letting everybody know what's going on. We have nothing to hide, and uh, I think that's a that's a key to a success. I, you know, uh, but old school. I think I'm 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 an old school type coach, but but with some newfangled ideas and new strat new new 2022 strategies. So, what would your typical team practice look like? Well, our typical practice would look like you know the first 10 minutes we'd have like a pre-practice with going through with your positions, going through. You know, maybe some review or some 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 drills, and then we'd have a, uh, our flexibility and form running period, which won't last very long, three to four minutes, and then we'd go to our individual period, where you'd break break up into your group, your position groups, and have 20 to 25 minutes of drills that you're going to do with your position coach, and then from there you kind of go into a group session, then a team session. So you go from individual group to team, and that's kind of how it would work. So how do you measure your success as a coach, both for your team and individuals as well? Well, success can be measured in lots of ways. Of course, we all measure it, wins and losses, you know, that's the, but I think as an educator, especially as a high school educator, I think you measure success in um, players having a great experience, as I've, I've mentioned before. Um, do kids want to play again the next year? Uh, do kids come back at, when, after they graduated and thank you for, for what you did. So I think that's the big big thing in education. Now, of course, we all want to win, of course, and uh, and that's the goal. And it, and it makes all the other things a lot easier to do when you win. Now, when you lose a lot, it makes it a lot tougher. So, so we need to have some success. We didn't have a typical Lions football year last year. What are some of the things that you were wanting to do to get Lions back to their winning ways? I think we got to get back down to fundamentals, base, break it down into basics, fundamentals, uh, we got to be great blockers, great tacklers, and that's what ultimately football comes down to. 
What are you looking forward to most while being at Salem, except for h and I'm looking for uh, this being my home mm -hmm. um, with my wife and all the, the Salem Lions that were in attendance tonight and in the community. You know, we're average people, and we want to be part of the community. We want to be part of the school. We want to be part of everything, and that's all I want. And that's what, you know, you know we're, we're normal people too, and we just want to have a great life here at Salem. Well, thank you again, Coach Gleasing, for talking with me and Lion Nation. This has been Cindy Brown with SLNN. Now back to the studio.